I have grown sick and tired of this lady. Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright. And I'm going to... I'm going to accuse you, you stupid lady, because you deserve it. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Huh? Who? You. Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. What? Wiper snapper. Order, order. Or, is this true, old bag? Old bag, that's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was a standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai. Really? Stop that. I hate it. Steal the steel, steal the steel. Oh, hey, wait, wait. To steal the the steel samurai costume. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Oh, grammar. What have you done? Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. But why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. No, I've read Sherlock Holmes books and you're nothing like Sherlock Holmes. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Hedgy boy, don't just sit there, do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Oh, great. <laughs> you know what? I should probably give her a break, but, you know... I'm gonna go ahead and press further, why not? Take it! Eat it! Eat it, you stupid... The very same reason that makes po Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? But that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten second stops. Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders, day, whippersnapper? I have proof. But proof? Indeed. I don't see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? I do, I do, I do have proof. I do have quite a bit of proof. And it's going to be, of course, Powers' photo. Your Honor, the murder weapon was a samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. Or sure. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Meh. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. And it makes me very happy. Although I don't have to speak through rambling text boxes and exhaust my diaphragm and lungs and lose all known function of my vocal cords. Okay, very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh. Well, wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. <laughs> oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Like that hasn't happened all throughout the stupid trial. Please, just get off the stand. Please. Miss Oldback, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. 
Not to talk about? But by, by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Oh, well, testify. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbark, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I really only have one thing to cross-examine. I want to know who the heck these people were. Okay, who were they? Tell me. Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So were these people... The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Is it Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map... Here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the the path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue this cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and their, some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Mrs. Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Finally done with that. So thank you so much, Mr. Wright. My manly hair mane thing that makes me look like a lion is telling you that you're awesome, and that it was right to ask you to defend me. Ah, oh, really? It's nothing. Grin. Or, oh, or should I sniff? We'll be going to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up the next trial's witnesses for certain, so now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Y yeah I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old Windbag, I feel kinda sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my execution. Accusation. Execution? <laughs> that would have been bad. My execution was about to take place. My head was just going to be off. That would have sucked. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Well, thanks. Thanks, guys. Manly Chester! He just uses that to take out the murderers. That was his murder weapon, his chest hair. He just came up and strangled the life out of the victim. And then his hair mane made him into a lion and he mauled them. Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. Let's do it. Although we're going to get... Attacked viciously at the main center. No one's here. Right now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. 
What? I wasn't gonna eat them. Yeah, you were. You fat, 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 fat woman. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick. Remember that studio, too, we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are here today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Let's go to Studio 2. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Alright, we gotta do some examining. First off, examine the bus. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Apparently, Phoenix Wright cannot drive. Always check the burners. Incinerator. Apparently, to just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Okay, it doesn't matter, but check the meal. I forget exactly what we had to. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I, I don't know. It just feels odd. So there's something about the meal that's odd. What about this? There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Uh, well, let's check the door. Nick, let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh, well, it's locked. Aw, shucks. Alright, so there's nothing we can do here right now. But something's odd about the meal that she can't quite place. So we'll have to think about that one. Let's go back to... No, not Studio One. Well, let's check it out anyway. I don't think there's anyone here. I don't even think Penny's here. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else. Nick? <sighs> it's okay, there's nothing here anyway. Penny's not even here. In which case, we won't get to meet Leonard or Sheldon. Bummer. Alright, Studio Main Gate. Let's go over to the employee area, why not? Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP is lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> I know I'm awesome. I'm the most excellent attorney ever. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh, <laughs> actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on prop on the props and the backdrops, right? But right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh? Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbeck. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. Okay, so nothing's going on here. I feel like we should talk to... Oh. Hold on. Attention center. No, we just go to... Well, we can just go to WP. Willie Powers. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. So, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Alright. That's right, we should probably talk to him about the fanboy and the director. Do er, fanboys sneak into the studios often? 
No, not that I know of. The secu that security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say that we're often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Talk, talk about the director. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's gonna lose big. I, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no, I sure hope not. Alright, so you're useless. I thought for sure you were at least kind of interesting, but no, you gotta be useless to me. Your manly chest hair has failed. I do know where we do have to go, though. We have to go inside the dressing room, because there's gonna be someone there. At least there should be someone there. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. She's got a point. Oh, I could have sworn! Uh, I'm missing something. I hate missing something. Do I have to show him power or something? I probably... Wait. Hold on. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? Can't we can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Rip it open. Rip it open. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? hey yeah. There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. That is important. I can't believe I missed that. This is very important. Second thing, let's go back in the dressing room for a second. Forget where we at. We have to go somewhere else. I know that much. Um. <laughs> now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to leave so free of guilt. Okay. Do believe we are out of time. Ah, oh, hello. Ho ho, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Alright, next time we gotta talk to Penny. Maybe ask her where her friends are. But, other than that, I will see you all later. Subscribe, like, comment. I wish to hear your thoughts. Thank you for everything. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.